So today coming up on my schedule, it looks really, really empty when you look at my schedule, but I literally walked in the door and haven't stopped, stopped running already. It's just crazy how my schedule can look empty. And as soon as I open the door, um, things just happen and it's all good. You just have to deal with it and go with it. Um, and that's the prime reason why I need to hire people to help me do the things that I don't necessarily need to be doing and hiring the right people. Today, Work In Wednesday is coming up, uh, Work In Yoga. It's our 15 minute yoga session that we started over a year ago. Um, we just break away on Wednesdays at noon and we actually do it live on Facebook. And um, I, I'm fortunate enough to have Heather Bauer, who is a yoga instructor, working for me. So she heads up our Work In Yoga. It's a 15 minute breakout yoga session. And she has um, a ton of yogi friends, of course. And she has been able to get people, um, other yogis, to come in and um, teach a class. So it's really cool to be able to see different instructors because everybody's focus is different. Everybody has a different technique, and it's really, really cool. You might connect with one person and not so much with someone else, but it's really cool to find those things out about them and about yourself. So at um, noon today, um, we're going to be doing that, so stay tuned. The answer is never no. It's I'd be glad to. <laughs> I started that. Did you start that with your kids? Isn't that awesome? Yeah. 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 What we're talking about is I was telling Aaron, who's got two young kids, that I've taught my kids that the right answer when I ask them to do something is I'd be glad to, mainly because you can't do it with an angry or um, an attitude of I don't want to. When you say I'd be glad to, it's usually like I'd be glad to. So whenever they say, when I say Mia, can you wash the dishes? And if she says, I don't want to mom, I'd say, would you like to try that again? And she knows the right answer is I'd be glad to. And if she doesn't come back with it, I'd say that's the wrong answer. Would you like to try that again? And so she comes back with, I'd be glad to mom. And she's always happy then. <laughs> So anyway, Erin started doing it with her kids. I'd be glad to. I'd be glad to. No. I uh, like to kind of do a fast in the morning because I think it really helps um, control my appetite. It helps give me energy. Believe it or not, fasting can actually give you energy. But in the morning, um, I, if I do eat anything, um, usually around 11 o'clock in the morning, I'll do like a smoothie because that's almost instant energy. So I'll fast until around 11 and then make myself a smoothie. When, you are, your, when your body doesn't have to digest um, solid food, you get almost instant energy because all the nutrients are already broken down to, into a more absorbable form. So anyway, my favorite um, smoothie is a banana. Uh, Mighty Mecca, and I'm going to be talking to Dr. Anna Kabaka um, very soon on my healthy, the Healthy Me blog, but she's amazing. This is a really good green smoothie, um, and she's going to talk more about um, how she developed it and why it has the ingredients in it that it does, um, but it's more um, focused for women. She's a um, GYN, and her focus is women's health. So uh, stay tuned for that. But anyway, I do two scoops of that, a banana, and I'm running low on my um, coconut milk. So a little bit of coconut milk, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to this just so I have enough. And literally, this is my, um, my morning energy. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is my favorite. So the only other thing I add to this, so here's a little trick. Um, these are super greens, um, any kind of greens. These have, this has um, red and green Swiss chard. 
It's got arugula and spinach in it, but any kind of greens, just stick it right in the freezer. I mean, you can see how fresh that stays. Stick it right in the freezer. I used to have a hard time keeping my greens fresh. So I was always disappointed the time I'd buy them. By the time I go to use them, they just look like uh, wilted greens. So anyway, putting them in the freezer not only adds that cold texture or cold flavor, cold whatever you want to call it, temperature to your smoothie, but it adds a lot of um, micronutrients. I could totally drink this all day. Super smooth goes down easy and it's like instant energy. Cheers. So this is fun because see what happens? Like Heather is the one I was just talking about. Heather is our yogi. And um, so Heather might be leading our class yeah. today. <laughs> they might be a little bit impromptu. Which is awesome because we love Heather anyway. But you got to roll with it. Right? I haven't sent Put an email to, like promoting our um, <laughs> work in yoga in a really long time. And so I sent it this morning. And of course, Julie's stuck in her garage. But yeah. She can has... she do it from her garage? Like <laughs> <laughs> We could bring, out the, bring over the live feed over there. I could actually do. There's the software and I have it that I could actually have a screen share and we could do oh. it live of her and us. At the same time? I could give you a okay. number and you could call her. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't. <laughs> she's in her garage. She's probably like, she, well, I mean, she's, in she's her not house, in her, oh yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, she's at her house yeah. and she's pretty, pretty com she's pretty, she's pretty computer savvy, but, um, so she's, I'm, I'm hold with her and I have Kevin Krause who is supposed to come the 15th and yeah. he's like, he was trying to see if he could get here instead. If not. Oh, here. today. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're good. So, we roll with it. Literally, she just said that to me. <laughs> if nothing else, we're fine. I mean, yeah. we'll be fine. We'll be good. Right. We'll you, just, you can always do it. You've yeah. done this before. Yes, I would just... <laughs> He just needs to look at it. Okay, thank you. So, really cool plans. Um, hopefully in about two weeks, there's going to be a wall here and down there. And we're going to repaint this, and this is going to be my office. So, because um, right now my office is over here and I don't mind a little office but it's kind of little and I have no windows and um, I'd really love the idea of having like a little board meeting area in my office I can put my treadmill over there and um, we're gonna have really nice plexiglass windows that I'll be able to see out so I'm super excited about that so stay tuned I'd say, yeah, I'd say that color and then accent it with a little bit darker color. Okay. And then um, eventually what I think would be cool is to use that same color and just redo this, like, yeah, this whole fine. office area. You can just do that while you're doing it. It probably needs a fresh coat anyway. Pure. I mean, this I... This was. I think oh, this let was let pure. Me, let me double check. check. Double check because when I looked there was... But the consistency is also different too. That's the other thing we gotta watch. So I would say just so we have enough, contact them, see if they sell wholesale, and buy a larger. So, the so I'm just gonna set up just a little bit. Isn't that cool? I just yeah. got that. No, no, that's not good. I'm actually thinking I might use it as my briefcase slash yoga. Yeah. I was, but I needed to go into the studio inside because I was gonna, I was gonna bring my own like block. Uh huh. And um. Oh, because you could put stuff there too. Because the bag attaches here, like you. Oh right. Hold it there. Oh, yeah. I'm like, is that too big to carry inside the studio? Well, but if you're usually surprised by the wall. Behind, yeah, yeah. Put it there. Isn't it? You'll be able to tell. You'll walk in a couple times and feel like. Yeah. Okay. But, it's, I but love if you're it. doing, you know, who cares? I don't, I don't yeah. care. Right. It makes a statement. Right. <laughs> People know who I am. People know who you are.
All right, so we're getting ready to do our live yoga session on Facebook. So um, I'm just getting everything set up for the post. It's gonna start at about noon and uh, Julie Hicks is gonna be arriving, so I'm super excited. Yoga session, noon every Wednesday. Heather is um, the magic behind this event that happens um, not, a, not often enough, we try and do it more than once a week, but it's on the block or on the schedule for every Wednesday yeah. at noon. So tell us why and what we're doing. I've and been working with Julie personally um, just to coach my being back to being better. Um, not, and so, not, not so crazy. <laughs> yeah, not so crazy. <laughs> Since you take my yoga classes recently, I'm like off the charts. But it was the whole aspect of work in right so start with the inside start with who you are as a person um and then the physical part comes too right mm -hmm. and um and and that stuff too for you i mean you're Monarch. always right you recently have had some injuries where you had to slow it way down way down i had to halt it yeah complete halt <laughs> which it took halt. you a while to halt though i had you to, weren't yeah. willing to do that first yeah my, then, my neck was really bad yeah. but i um, i love the idea of a 15 minute workout session at work i think that um, for any employer out there that might be listening, if you run a team or run a business or run anything, even with your kids, that's a team, break out mm. for 15 minutes because it can recharge your brain, it gets your blood flowing, and it almost resets you and give you, gives you more energy. So as a team leader, what does that look like for me? When these guys go back to work, they're more motivated to work, they really want to come to work, they want to, they'll be more productive at work. And um, we build a bond and a friendship here at work as well. So it's kind of um, beneficial, not just to the employees or my team members, but it's beneficial to me as the team leader in um, helping them enjoy their work and helping them be more productive without even thinking about it. So. <laughs> give me some love if you can see us so that we know you're there or give me a thumbs up. Heather okay. has um, put us in touch with Julie Hicks who's back there but we're going to be meeting Julie and she's going to be leading our yoga sessions. We do this every Wednesday live on Facebook at noon Eastern time. Yeah. So and it work in is part like you took it to a different like yeah. inside your body but we do it like also work it into your day. Right. Even Somehow, if you're at work, in some fashion, yeah. I mean, you could always do it later. And um, I was, we were telling the troops the um, before too, is that aspect of some stuff I had to work on. And um, Trina had, you know, with Trina stuff with whole her whole skincare line and stuff from the in, outside in. Or sometimes though, you have to go from the inside out of what you're putting into your body. And so sometimes putting into your body are the thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so super excited to have yeah. you. So Julie, yes. go for it. Yeah. Great, great. Okay. Tell us, what, where can they find you real quick? So I'm at juliehicks.com. Do you have a studio that, or you, I know no. you're at Yoga Bliss. Yeah, I um, teach yoga at Yoga Bliss, but I work out of my home. Also, okay. I'm an independent coach. Oh, okay, yeah, coach, and, I know you did coaching and stuff yeah. too. So, okay, perfect, yeah. Yeah. take the show. Yeah. I was wearing glasses. No, I noticed that you were wearing glasses, but I didn't know what they were doing. Okay, so my glasses, they're Swarnik, but I'll put the link above. Um, so these are blue light blockers. So basically, all day long, you are bombarded with blue light. If you are someone that works at a computer, you are bombarded with blue light. And blue light affects your pineal system, your pineal gland, which mm -hmm. is your awakening. Mm -hmm. um, it could keep you awake. If you are someone that works on the computer late at night, you might have a hard time falling to sleep because your pineal gland is stimulated saying it's still light out. So what these are, are they're blue light blockers. You can also set your phone to block blue light at can a certain I see? time. Yeah, you're gonna stand <laughs> No, these, yeah. So I'll put the link um, above, but literally it changes. So now Dave Asprey from Bulletproof, um, if you were at the Bulletproof conference and you weren't walking around with one of these on, you were not part You're of the, the cool minority. people. Yes, <laughs> everybody at the Bulletproof conference walks around, including my kids. They all wear these after a certain time or if they're on their phones or whatever. Um, but if you were at the Bulletproof conference, you were walking around with these on. So um, they're, they're, very, they're very good. They're great, especially in the evening when you're working on your phone or computer or whatnot to help set you for sleep. Huh. 
All right, guys. So we're out of yeah. time. Julie, thank you. They can find, find you at juliehicks.com, yep. right? So, yep. And you are coaching mm -hmm. as well as yoga. So if anybody has any questions, they can contact you, find sure. you there. Yep. So yep. thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining us for Work In Wednesday. Heather, who's? Uh, Tracy Reinhardt. Oh, Tracy's yeah. next week. So you've met Tracy before, so Tracy will be back next week. So thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your day. It's um, Wednesday. <laughs> we'll see. Wait to see what they yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Nobody can touch this. That's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the other day, it took me, like, there, every time I came, there was somebody had something in it. And I was like, oh, I'm starving. I need one for my office. <laughs> um, it's like a minestrone soup. I'm big into soup. I love soup. And then a little bit of um, like a gluten-free ravioli. It's not dairy-free, but it is a gluten-free. Oh, I don't need that. Lunch is cooking. to share it with um, or send something you'll probably have to do it through this like sharing if you're gonna share her I don't know how you're gonna do it with them if you're gonna share the Dropbox or just email it but it's also under your finder so if you're gonna email them if you just go under finder and go to Dropbox it'll be here now and then you'll just be able to go under the dirty mouth products you'll go to the new one uh, it's round Oops. Um, PDFs and then that's what you'll send them. Okay. It should be in here. Yeah, it's still uploading. It's done uploading. Tell her to update their two yeah, files and get, rid of, and get yeah. rid of those. Just so when we go to reorder, we don't have to. And I'm going to mark it off. On my list is complete. All right.